Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is the funny man himself and the man of many talents. He's an actor, comedian, and Hall of Famer. I had the pleasure of sitting down with him, and let me tell you, honey, honey, he's very funny. <laughs> you guys might want to take a look. It's the one and only Joe Torrey. Joe, it's always a pleasure to have you here at the Circle. I mean, it's just good to see you. Good to see you. Good it's to see good you. to be seen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good, good to be and good to be around some good, beautiful women. Oh, thank you that's, so that's much. That's always that's always an eye opener. Yeah, a spirit uplifter. Yes, yeah. uplifting the spirits. Yeah, with the beautiful now. women. With the beautiful, beautiful black women doing absolutely, their thing. Come on now. Come absolutely, absolutely. It's so true. It's so true. We have yeah. to celebrate our black women. Loving that. Do you love this hair? Loving it. Do you need to, you think I need to take a couple of tracks out no, the bag? Leave, no, leave it like that. Leave it like that. Are you sure? Only you can do that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so don't take a couple of tracks out. Don't take a while. Okay, well, Joe tells me not to do it. I'm probably not going to do it. Yeah. But I do want to know, how do you feel about Shane Gillis being <laughs> fired from SNL uh, after saying the racial slurs? And uh, he was only hired for four days and got fired. I know, right? I mean, to, to you know, to be a professional comes a big job, you get a big check, you gotta know that a lot of people are, you, you know, you're holding their, their ideas on your lips. Right. So now this is cancel culture. People gotta kinda, you know, be careful what you say. Yeah. And when somebody else is writing your check, you really gotta be careful for it. Absolutely, you know? but, but being a comedian like mm -hmm. yourself, is that challenging? Do you feel like you're being restricted in terms of your content, what you can say and what you can't say? Do you feel like we've become too sensitive as a, a culture in America? If the joke is not explained, I think, you know, people take it a little bit more, you know, mm -hmm. and they be offensive toward it. Because, you know, so many different things, people have so many different gripes mm -hmm. and so many different groups, you mm -hmm. know, want to be represented so nowadays. True. So, you know, they find, you know, wood to throw in the fire and sometimes it's you. Does it mm -hmm. make it hard for you to come up with content now? No, it just, you know, makes you study or become more professional. You know, mm -hmm. if, you're gonna, if you can't explain the joke, because it's a joke, mm -hmm. but if you if it's offensive to somebody and you haven't done your research that it may be offensive, you know, then it's not a joke anymore. Yeah. And I think you know, as, as you get older, you kind of you know how to you know sing a song, you know how to hit the note right. Right. Like right. A joke. You know how to present it in the right way. Right. Yeah. Well, listen, you've been hitting notes all through your career. You work <laughs> with some legends. I'm talking about Eddie Murphy as well as Martin Lawrence. What was it like to work with those guys? Uh, different in different stages. Mm -hmm. I mean, when Eddie Murphy, that was the Harlem Nights the first time. Yeah. So I was just watching and learning, and you know, looking at one of the masters, the Kings, who had the rest of the Kings on the set. I yeah. Mean, Robin Harris, the late great Robin Harris was in that movie. Richard Pryor. That movie was Red Fox, yeah, You know, Ronaldo Ray. Mm -hmm. I was just like a kid in a candy store. Sammy Davis yes. Jr. walked yes. up. So it was just like learning. Yeah. You're looking around, and you're like, wow. Wow. So you know, to me, I was just like a kid in a candy store. Yeah. Martin was, you know, mad genius. You know, saw him go from, you know, from um, the club comic mm -hmm. to the big stage, to mm -hmm. the big screen, to, to just becoming a, a, a phenom. Yeah. You know, the number one show, you know, watch show on your know, sitcom that you would watch any time. Yeah. Um, the, so many memes, so many things now. You've seen him do it. And, yeah. and it's trying That's to recreate, recreate yourself. So, yeah, Martin, watch it. I, I was in a good class. You, you talk a little bit about, you know, uh, working within the clubs and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, doing stand up in the clubs. The people say Eddie Murphy uh -huh. and Arsenio <laughs> Hall are both making a comeback. Right. What do you make of this? What do you think about comebacks? Well, I mean, Arsenio never left the stage. <laughs> So he's always performing. Uh -huh. He's getting paid. You know what I'm saying? He's Baby, doing Netflix sneaker. is about to lace him up, yeah. bro. Yeah, well, you check, know. check with Netflix. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm shooting my special. I got two <laughs> upcoming, so <laughs> that's what I'm here performing for, trying to get my, my chops right. Right, right. And, and that's what it's about. You have to get on stage and get your chops right. Yeah. You have to be relevant. And uh, to communicate to all the audiences, the masses, sometimes, you know, hopefully Eddie you know, chops is, is yeah. you know, it's not too rich Ooh. for the little stage. Not too wealthy. Yeah, not too wealthy for Ooh. the little stage. You know, you Hope know. he still got a, yeah, a, a low-end yeah, coin. You know, you got to be able to come with it. You do, you yeah, do. You gotta, do you think you know. Eddie will be able to do that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Eddie's, Eddie's, Eddie's yeah. a genius. You know, I just just his impersonations alone, just him coming and just the anticipation of people, yeah. you know, waiting and wanting him to come. Yeah. Because they asked him years ago and he was like, why would the king, or what do you say, why does the general come down to the front line? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has a point, but 30 years later, 30 years he's later. on the front line. He's on the front line, because yeah. the front line has changed now. So, yes. you, know, you know, streaming, Netflix, that'll, yeah. make, you get, that'll make you come out that little general course. I think, because Netflix is handing out checks left or right, yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, yes they are. My God. Yeah. I probably need to get over to Netflix. But let's talk a little bit about Kevin Hart. <laughs> 
<laughs> My man, yeah. Yes. So recently we learned that Kevin Hart was in a, a, a bad accident, car yeah. accident, mm -hmm. and uh, we know that he's now been released from the hospital. How is Kevin doing? Um, I saw his friend in the bob shop the other day. Yeah. He, he said he was doing well, he was recovering well. Yeah. Um, I text Tori, his ex-wife, every now and then, try mm -hmm. to find out, you know, and he's just in prayer. Yeah, players. Tori's cool. Um, She's a friend of the show, too. Yeah, yeah. She's her, my little sister right yeah. there. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, but you can only pray. I mean, that's, you know, that was that's a difficult thing. Wow, I just really enjoy, I'm not trying to do that, <laughs> what you said. but I really did enjoy sitting down with Joe, it's, it's just so much fun with him, yeah. he's always just a very calm spirit, very professional, mm -hmm. uh, and knows his craft, he does, so that's right. guess what, to keep up with Joe, you want to follow him, be sure to follow him on Instagram at Joe Tory, uh, and stick around because we have, if you're staying for the full hour, we're going to have a little bit more after the break, mm -hmm. and of course you know the conversations always continue, it's the Circle TV on all social media platforms. Yeah, it's Miss Glock. Yeah, it was yeah. so great. Yeah. He yeah. seems like so much fun. He is. He is a great yeah. time. Yeah, I like it a lot. The next segment, you're going to love it. All right. Yeah. Only a comedian, but you know, you handle the grill. They said you're a beast on the grill. What, what do you cook on the grill? Well, it depends on where I'm at. In Memphis, mm -hmm. you know, meat. I can put any, all type of meat on the grill in Memphis. Yes, you yes. Know, cause you know, because they're not gluten-free like L.A. Yeah. You know, it's like, what? Yeah. You know, so I, I learned how to cook um, from my dad, mm -hmm. Mississippi. Yeah. You know, he was he was a real girl's man. He could put anything, have it cleaned Ooh. up, you know, you know, done before you even get up in the morning. Oh, nice Meat brisket. falling off the bone, briskets, ribs, <laughs> chicken, all that, mm. pork shoulder. He just cooking hot dogs and stuff. When you come doing burgers Ooh. on the spot, but everything is done. He, on the grill. Know, me, I, I, I have to, you know, it depends who's coming to my barbecue. Yeah. I got my blue cheese turkey burgers. Oh, you know that saying? sounds yeah, good. You know what I mean? I, I, I put some fish, I put some, because it's LA. Mm. People, a lot of people don't eat meat. That's true. So, you know. Be more healthier. Yeah. I, 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 West I, Coast. Think, I, th I think I did some impossible links. How were like, they? Yeah, tastes pretty good. Yeah. Kind of spicy. Okay, not against it yeah, then. Yeah, I was like, yeah, okay. You know, the, the, your, 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 your frat bro. Yeah. Uh, Ricky Smiley says he grills too. Now, you know, he, he cooks too. Mm -hmm. I got to tell you, not trying to create any dissension or anything. Mm -hmm. Ricky Between you and Ricky, mm -hmm. who will win the grill off? I burn. I put Ricky on the grill. Oh, <laughs> put some sauce on him. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Ricky, he can't burn with me. <laughs> he better, yeah. he better stick to dyeing his beard. Oh, stop. <laughs> stop it. So, he don't um, want to burn with me. He don't want to burn with you. He don't want to see you in the kitchen. He don't want no smoke. They don't want no smoke from Uncle Joey, baby. All right. You know All right. Well, Ricky, you heard it. It wasn't me. It was Joe. <laughs> don't be mad at your sister now. I'm saying. I, I eat from the both bros. of Go you. Go to the bros. <laughs> I eat from both of you. Exactly. Exactly. So you speak of the bros, the Omega Man. Mm -hmm. um, how has being or becoming an Omega Man, how has that changed your life? And what facet? Oh man, um, just growing up now because I went from I say I went from boots to suits, mm -hmm. and now that uh, uh, you know my brothers are in so many different positions, and you know in in, in, in legal and doctor field, mm -hmm. um, and just in education, yes, and where I'm trying to go and where we're trying to take the next generation. I mean, you know, we're set up in so many different places from TV to film mm -hmm. to radio. I mean, it's just proud to be a, you know, a member of a Mega Side 5 attorney because yeah. to change the next generation, you need an army. You do. You need men that, you know, and, and that can... And who are ready to take action. Yeah, take action. Yeah. And, and and be on the front line to say, okay, we're changing the next generation. Yeah. And we'll take the job and we'll be the starter. We're going to do our part to help out. I love that. Now. Let's talk about your shows. Do you do different stand-ups and different shows? Do you have different content for different cities or different shows? Or is it pretty much the same around, you know, your, your tour? No, I'm working on different material, getting it ready because we're doing two back to back. Mm -hmm. So it's different cities that I want to be in. Yeah. I will because I wanted to shoot it like in Atlanta. I wanted to shoot Memphis. I wanted to shoot St. Louis. But my first time I'm shooting in Los Angeles. Oh, okay. So while I'm there, like getting ready, I'm shooting BTS. Yes. Um, yes. And then I'm bringing stuff in. But all my most of my shows are all, always new. Yeah. So, so. I, I, I get that. I love that. So we wouldn't have you here, Joe, without playing a little game. We love to play games with the good people that visit us at, at the circle. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna play Love It or Leave It. So if it's something, I'm gonna throw some scenarios out there at you. So if you love it, you just tell me. It's quiet. I love it. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, you just say, honey, leave it. You don't yeah. say, honey, you just say, leave it. I'm going to say, well, yeah. I ain't going to say that. <laughs> right? You yeah. just say, leave it. You just say, leave it. All right, here we go, the first one. Um, Ikea serving jerk chicken. Love it or leave it? Leave it. Leave it. I say the same thing. Ikea is supposed to serve furniture. Yeah. Not jerk chicken, right? Yeah. You, 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 they handing out jerk chicken when you come to buy some? Or they <laughs> no, they're serving, serving it. It's it. like food. Like, you can walk up to the concession and purchase. No, no, no. no. No, so leave it. Leave it. All right, vegan oxtails. 
Now, I know you got southern roots, but you're over it. there on the west coast. <laughs> I knew you was going to say love it. That doesn't even make sense to me. I don't eat oxtail, but, you know, so you got to have something for everybody. <laughs> All right, then. Okay. Now, this one. KFC's donut chicken sandwich. That is ridiculous. Leave it. Are you serious? Leave it. That's not, it looks good. <laughs> it looks like Believe it. it looks like high blood pressure, hypertension, congestive yeah. heart failure, yeah. diabetes. Yes, it does. And all. It looks all like your life. last meal. <laughs> so, <laughs> it looks like the last supper. <laughs> it's like if you you about to get electrocuted, it's your last meal. What do you want? <laughs> Give me that KFC double donut, donut <laughs> chicken sandwich. <laughs> exactly. Okay, what else? we have two more. Okay, now, I really want to know what you're gonna say about this one. Whitney Houston's hologram tour. Mm -hmm. Love it or leave it. Love it. You do. Yeah, man. I love Whitney. I love and, Whitney and, too. And I love what you can do with with new technology and new stuff. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why not? I'm really shocked that you said love it, but what yeah. do I know? Yeah. I mean, get, but, I mean you, you know, get all of them. Get Bobby to come out. <laughs> Tupac coming out too. You know, you, you can have some. Pro Prince some in there. Go oh, ahead. What, what, Bobby's still out. living, but I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah. Hey, you, should, you know, you can you can come and kick it with all of them. I like right. to rock with Whitney. Okay. You so you, you, you think you might get up and do a bit? No, Whitney, Whitney, even a hologram would slap the crap out of me. Whitney don't play that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, All right, Whitney's last gangster. one. <laughs> Issa Rae remaking Set It Off the Movie. Mm -hmm. Love it or leave it? Leave it? Well, love it. I love it. Love, love it or leave it? No, I meant to say love it. Love it if they, if they bring back the original cast. She's remaking it, though. Yeah, but you got to remake it, you know, like Widows. You gotta have the old cast. The set it maybe, off widows. Hey, this, like the set it off. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, you know, like the, the, the movie widows. The widows, yeah. yeah. But you gotta, yeah. I would love to see, you know, Queen and Jada and all them come back. You know what I mean? Like yeah. one more time, and yeah. then maybe their kids. Is, you gotta drill them into Ooh. it. See, I probably gave them a line already. You just gave them you know a whole I mean? new spin. Their grandma, they gotta come and. Issa, be sure to reach out to Joe. Yeah. He got some creative ideas you know for what I'm you. Saying? And, Shout uh, it out there, right? See? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can pay him a check and he got you. Mm -hmm. Anyways, listen, I want to talk a little bit about your new movie, The Workout. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Are you working out now? Are we going <laughs> to see you in like gym clothes and working no, out? What's no, happening? No, no, no. I'm, I'm fully clothed in this movie. Okay, okay. okay. We'll do it then. It's, it's the workout room. <laughs> it's, it's sort of like a takeoff for any comedy club where comedians go to work out. Oh. And this is a black comedy club. It's ran by Tammy Townsend. She has a little drinking problem and she gets a little nervous. Yeah. And I mean, she knows she's from Disney Channel. Yeah. And uh, you know, and I'm the next big up comedian coming out of the club. My daughter's getting married like the day of my biggest day that Hollywood Ooh. is coming to. That's you know, a hard see decision. Me. Yeah, and I'm like lying to her, like I'm gonna be there and I'm trying to be there. And little JJ's my little protege, but Love he's her JJ. best friend and he's he's telling everybody what I'm doing and cause he wants to, you know, to do it for me. <laughs> so he it's funny, and it's just comedians running around the comedy club. The workout room, I yeah. love that. And when can we see it? Um, it's coming. You can get it at FandangoNow.com. Okay. Right today. Okay. But it'll be on Amazon and Amazon Prime uh, October 8th. All right, sounds yeah. good to me. Listen, Joe, thank you so much for being here at The Circle yet That's again. Family. And you are very busy, very which busy. I do love and enjoy. It's just always a pleasure to sit down with the brother Joe. He does his thing. Listen, be sure to check out his new movie, The Workout Room, which releases everywhere on October 8th. And follow him at Joe Torrey. Please do so. On the gram.